Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I thought I would do like a teething kind of video, so like all the signs of teething and like tips um, on things that I found that help um, and stuff like that because Harrison is eight months old. He's only just got his first two teeth. Um, so he's only start, he only started teething about, I would say like maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, but I think he has generally been teething for a while, a good while, but um, nothing, nothing's come through until now, kind of thing. So let's just jump straight into the video. So the first sign I definitely noticed with Harrison definitely has got to be like constantly got his fist in his mouth. He just wanted to eat pretty much anything that he could get his hands on basically. So he was just always put his fists in his mouth and he was dribbling loads, like literally loads. Um, so I was constantly having to put bibs on him. Um, he's okay at the moment, I think now, because his two teeth have actually like um, cut through. But yeah, he was constantly just dribbling, so I was always having to put bibs on him because um, he would just ruin his clothes from dribbling so much. Um, so that was definitely one of the main signs, like dribbling, constantly, um, put, like I say, eating his fists, eating anything. The next sign I definitely would say um, that Harrison was um, that I knew he was teething was him like he was pooing a lot more so he had um, loads more bowel movements now I didn't even think this was actual like a thing but I googled it and it definitely is yeah he was like pooing a lot more and he had like nappy rash and um, so his bum was just a little bit sore um, but nothing like you know nothing like too bad um, so yeah definitely that's another symptom that I noticed um, he was um, pooing a lot more and he had a little bit of nappy rash. Uh, another symptom that I noticed obviously was like he was being really um, like crying a lot more, like really, what's the word I'm looking for? Cranky. So he was more like cranky and stuff and he's never really liked that and um, it affected his sleep. So he was waking up a lot more in the night. Um, just crying because obviously he's in pain and stuff and obviously it was affecting his sleep and he was um, off his food and his milk and um, he wouldn't drink as much milk as he normally does he, he didn't want to go and eat like when I was trying to feed him he would just cry and just pull away and um, so that's definitely another sign that I knew that he was definitely teething and also the most obvious thing was like you know if you think your baby's teething maybe just try and check if they'll let you like look inside their mouth or open the mouth um, Harrison wouldn't at all let me look in his mouth and any time I went near his mouth or his gums to try and have a little peek he would just like pull away and just cry um, I did manage to get a little look and I could just see like the very beginnings of teeth coming through so that's when I definitely knew that he was getting some teeth and um, I think the whole time from so when I first noticed that he was all these signs like fist in his mouth and um, drooling and stuff. Um, I think from that point when I first noticed, I think up until now, so around about two weeks this time um, is when his actual teeth like cut through. So he's got two bottom teeth now and that, and you can feel them, they're really sharp. They've cut through. Um, he's not really bothered, I don't think, as much now, I think because they may be cut through. So he's, he's fine. Um, but when obviously when they're like ready to come and the, you know they're cutting through obviously it's very painful for them so obviously they're going to be a bit off not themselves kind of thing so now on to um, things that i would recommend giving your baby or your child um, if they're in a little bit of pain something to kind of just help them um ease them through it and stuff and um, one is definitely cuddles definitely gives them lots of cuddles i found that harrison all he wanted to do was sleep and cuddle so i just like could um um, and he just fell asleep on me most of the time. But yeah, definitely lots of cuddles. And um, you know, if they want to sleep, then let them sleep. Because I know that when I'm in pain and I'm not feeling the best, all I want to do is sleep. And that's all Harrison has been doing at the moment is just napping loads and just sleeping loads. So yeah, lots of sleep and um, lots of cuddles is definitely working for Harrison, I found. Um, so a few of his favourite like teething toys, I would say, um, have to be this little foot that I bought him and now these can be put in like the fridge um so you just pop that in the fridge and it's nice and cold for them on their gums um, and I just give him that and he just like chomps on it um, and another one is this little fishy that um, I think someone bought him 
I don't know if this is, is like a teething toy. I'm assuming it is because it's got like little um, bits there that he can chew on. So he likes to chomp on that as well. Um, I do have like a teething ring and it kind of looks like a dummy. I tr just tried to find it and I literally can't find it. But what I might do is I'll pop a picture on the screen of what it looks like. Um, just so that you have an idea of what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, um, and I'll leave a link down below as well. And another thing that he really likes um, is this like mitten, it's called the mouthy mitten. Now he doesn't like this on his hand. He will not let me put it on his hand for the life of me. Um, he just cries and pulls it off. So I just literally hand it to him and he chomps on it. Um, so it's just a little mitten and it's got like little raised, little bumpy bits on it. So um, he just chugs on that and he finds that helps him too. So they're just a few of the things that I give him um, to help him kind of chomp it out. Instead of him chomping on his hands kind of thing, he just chomps on those. And I've got a few, like I say, anything really that you can buy. There's loads of teeth and toys out there in the market at the moment. Lots of different things that you can get them. Um, so I'll leave a few links down below with just a few items that are like the ones that I've got here and just a few items that are like in at the minute that are like really it's supposed to be really good to help with teething and stuff and I think there's actually like little f bits of food that you can buy them like little chompy stick like they have these little stick things that you know that they help them. So the things that I've used on Harrison that I found that have helped him would you kind of say medically? I suppose you could say. Um, so the first thing is his teething gel and it's the Dentinox teething gel. We've tried, is it Calpo? I think Calpo teething gel and Bongella teething gel, a couple of others or whatever, but this one seems to work the best and he loves this one. It's just this one, the Dentinox one. So yeah, he loves this. As you can see, I'm pretty much out of this. I'm gonna have to buy some more. But all you do is just apply it a little bit on your finger and just like rub it on the gums. The only thing with the gels, I think, is they just rub off. So like, um, I don't think they last that long. Um, but they're really good for on the go. I don't even think they have like a limit of how much you put on there. It says you can repeat after 20 minutes if necessary. Yeah, it says like you can repeat after 20 minutes if necessary. So I literally just keep this in my bag for him. Um, and if I need to keep reapplying it after every 20 minutes, then I will because it's really good. The next thing, um, now you can't buy this in like shops. You have to go to the chemist and buy it over the counter. Um, I'm not sure, maybe it's something to do with the ingredients. Maybe it's like, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> like dangerous i suppose or something i don't know but like you need you need to buy it medically from from a chemist over the counter you can't just go and boots and buy it off the shelf you have to buy it behind the counter um it's just ambicel liquid ambus ambicel ambicel um ambicel definitely ambicel <laughs> so it's just ambicel liquid and again same with this you literally apply a little bit on your finger um so it comes in a little bottle And you literally just take off the lid, apply a little bit to your finger, and then again, just rub it all over the gums and stuff. Now with this one, you can't, um, it says you can, just says do not apply more frequently than every two hours. So I would say, obviously, every three hours or whatever. It does say that one one application will be like sufficient, because um, I think it's quite strong. So it works quite quickly. So that's another thing that we definitely love, and I definitely think that works for him probably more so than the gel, um, definitely works for him. And as I say, you just apply it to the gums and I think it works instantly. He is, um, he kind of stops crying basically at once. I put it on and I put his dummy in and he just falls to sleep. Um, so yeah, I find that the liquid works a lot more better than the gel, but I do still apply the gel obviously in and between applying the amber soil. Um, just because obviously you can't use that more than every three hours, but with the gel you can apply it every 20 minutes. Another really good product that's quite good, um, I found that these are really good as well, but hates me putting this in his mouth, so I try not to unless I really like necessary. It's the teeth and granules, I think they do, these ones by Nelson's and I think they do, it's Ashton and Parsons, um, but these that's what they look like, the packaging. Um, they're just like little granules, so you get little sachets of them. 
and um, so in each sachet it says that it's enough for like one dose but I think obviously if your baby's over six months you can have one full sachet um, and if they're three to six months old you can only use like half a sachet at one time so like half a sachet and then the remainder of the sachet a bit later on but yeah if they're over six months um, they can have the whole sachet you literally just pour it into the mouth um, or you can put it on a spoon and that's it basically but I think it's a really good too um, definitely really good um, I'm not sure how much all these things cost actually a couple of pounds I think that was two pounds something and I think the gels are like no more than a pound actually I don't think maybe 150 I'm not entirely sure um, like I say I will leave all the links for these down below in case you're interested in um, looking at them and see how much they cost and where I got them from I think I just got them from those chemists like boots or I don't know in, anywhere really like supermarket like Asda or something um, and I also give Harrison um, if he's really like I feel like he's really in pain and you know he's not having a good time I'm like right okay none of these are working for him I need to give him something stronger something that's gonna really help um, is Nurofen I only really give him this if, like I say, if he really feel like he needs it. And then um, I find that this Nurofen is better than Calpol because it's an Ibu I can never say the word. Ibu ibuprofen, is that right? I think that's right. <laughs> but yeah, this is obviously a lot stronger than paracetamol, which is what Calpol is. And yeah, so I give him this and this seems to work a dream, so. Um, definitely recommend this and obviously it does say that it can be used for teething, toothache and all that kind of thing. So I would definitely recommend using the Nurofen over Calpol. But if you don't want to use this then Calpol's fine. Babies only need two and a half mil dose until they're one. Um, which is definitely, I would definitely recommend reading the packet because with Calpol, I think after six months you can give them a five mil dose. But obviously with this, you can only give them two and a half mil dose until the one, 12 months, which I didn't know until I looked at the packet. And it's a good job I did because if I would have given them a five mil dose of this, then that wouldn't have been good. So definitely look at the packet because like I say, I know Calpol, you can give them five mil dose once the six months are over. Um, you don't want to give them too much. So definitely read the packet. But yeah, it's two and a half mil dose, um, for six to 12 months. But yeah, those uh, items, I definitely would recommend them all. They all do seem to work. Sometimes um, sometimes they don't really work for him and he just is really in that much pain. I just give him Nurofen and that seems to help massively for him. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend trying all of them. Obviously, every baby's different and, you know, not every baby's going to like any of them or some are going to work better than others. Um, it's just trial and error really, I suppose I'd say. But yeah, I definitely recommend all of them. And they've all seemed to work for Harrison. Um, and I think as well, it's just getting them through it because at the end of the day, when you're feeling rubbish and you're in pain, it's not nice, is it? And I mean, I can't imagine what teething feels like because obviously we don't remember. But I know that when I've got like toothache or an ulcer or any kind of like mouth pain, it's not pleasant and it is rubbish. Um, being in any kind of pain is not nice, but I do feel for babies when they're teething, it's not nice. And as I say, I just give Harrison as much cuddles. Um, he always seems to want lots of cuddles when he's, well, when I say when he's teething, but he's only just got two teeth. So yeah, um, but hopefully once they get the first term, that kind of, um, when they start getting more, it doesn't affect them as much, I suppose, because they're kind of used to it, I don't know. Um, because Harrison's only got two. Um, they both kind of came through at the same time, uh, which I think generally they do when you get the first two, they come through at the same time. Um, but Harrison, as I say, he's eight months and he's only just got two teeth now, um, but you just feel like he's been teething for months, but he's finally got his two teeth. I think as well, another symptom that I would say definitely um, I noticed that he was teething, obviously his cheeks were quite red and um, like his gums at the bottom, um, like these bits here, like under your teeth, 
um, they were swollen and really red. So that's when I knew he's definitely coming. He's definitely getting some teeth soon. So there was another sign, another symptom that I've definitely noticed about him as well. But as I say, flushed cheeks, really cranky, dribbling loads, um, just constantly chewing fists, chewing anything, chewing everything. <laughs> um, and nappy, nappy rash and constantly like chewing loads. They're definitely all my symptoms and, that I noticed that Harrison had um, when he was teething. So I would definitely say, if there could be more, I don't really know. Some I know some babies that get really poorly. A high temperature, I think, is one as well, but Harrison's doesn't really have a temperature. And I think some babies have been sick as well, like vomiting um, with it, because obviously some babies have a really hard time. Some babies don't even bother. Some babies don't even, like, it doesn't bother them kind of thing. So, um, yeah, every baby's different, but they're just my um, symptoms that I noticed that Harrison was having when he was teething and just some things that helped him through it and obviously like the teething toys and the products and stuff that I would recommend. But yeah, so they're just my symptoms um, that I noticed that Harrison was having when he was teething and just all the signs and symptoms that he was having and just some of the things that help him that he kind of loves. Um, and helping him through it and stuff. As I say, I will leave everything down below, um, all the links down below to everything that I've shown you today. I don't actually know where half of these things are from because I think they were given as gifts, but I will try my best to find the links for you or something kind of similar or anything, any kind of other teething toys that I um, have been told that are really quite good. I will leave those links down below as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you want me to do more videos like this, just let me know by leaving a comment down below. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel as well if you're not subscribed already. And if you have liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.